kids, welcome back to Alexia's World. Today I'm going to do a sick or float experiment. Let's see which item sink and which float. Mm. First up, we have a candle. Let's see. Okay. It's a bullet. Okay, that's for the dinosaur. I really think this will flow. Let's see. A pink bounce ball? In. Weird. Why did it like sink and then float? Eh. Like a target? I think this will float because it's like a sponge. I was right. Wait, let's see. Yes, I think. Even if I put it on the bottom of the floor, an inch it I won't know the name of this turtle. I'm gonna drop him in tea posing. Drop him. Wait, what can you do that? Is you can... What? That's weird. Yeah, it's float. Usually, when I put this thing in the water, it sinks. Why is it float? This random piece in uh, just uh, this metal, this barrel. Wait, what if I put a barrel? Put these in marbles in here and then use this to tighten it with a floater sink. So, oh, if I put this and also crayon, wait, there's a small crayon in here. Crayon, and now tap it. I think now it should sink. Yeah, it sank directly because, uh, also because it has water. Let me drain all the water. What? Which golf ball will sing? One of these golf balls weigh more than the other. Three, two, one. It's kind of obvious which one to make. Hmm. Let me put this hoop and then put the golf ball on it. Do so any of you know why some things sing and some things float? Well, let's say um, this. It doesn't have much density the water has more so it floats it sinks a little when it's full with water because that gives it a little more depth but let's see mm, this more it has more density than the water so the water can't hold it up so it sinks to the bottom these seed balls they're very small they don't have them much density so you know don't see and don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye